Hi and welcome to this short video on understanding 40 DDoS attack events. Before we go to the details of how Fortinet 40 DDoS reports the attack events, I would like to give you a quick overview of why stopping DDoS attack is very important. DDoS attacks remain a top threat to network security. DDoS is a type of cyber attack that tries to make a website or network resources unavailable by flooding the network with malicious traffic so that it cannot operate. The primary purpose is to disrupt and overwhelm the network, causing it to shut down. 40 DDoS is a purpose-built solution from Fortinet to mitigate the DDoS attacks. The bad guys design sophisticated multi-vector and multi-layer attacks using the rec inflicted packets where spoof or randomized source IP addresses are impossible to protect even with an access control list. The bad guys attack any IP addresses that routes to your network. Unused IP addresses, ISP links, a firewall, a proxy, or other network devices are used as gateways to attack. The DDoS will result to a network and computer services becoming unavailable to legitimate traffic. These packet flood attacks from servers and botnets are easily deployed and motivated by the following reasons. Reasons such as financial, political, retaliatory, or perhaps sometimes even experimental or just for fun. So here are the different types of DDoS attacks and you will see them on the 40 DDoS uh, dashboard uh, when we generate some attacks from our 40 tester load generator. So these are the four different types of attacks that you will see. You have the bulk volumetric and these DDoS attacks typically attempts to consume the bandwidth. This is designed to overwhelm and consume available internet bandwidth. It overloads server via flood attacks such as your SYN, your UDP, or ICMP floods. For the infrastructure, DDoS attacks are focused towards network and IT infrastructure such as firewall servers, including unused IP and any appliance that serves the client. On the layer 7 or application layer DDoS attack, it attempts to overwhelm network or server resources with a flood of traffic. And this is typically done using HTTP traffic. An example would be sending thousands of requests for a certain website per second until the server is overwhelmed and cannot respond to all of the upcoming requests. For IoT, we have seen the Mirai capability, which turns network devices running Linux into remotely controlled bots that can be used as part of a bot in a large scale network attack. It is primarily online consumer devices such as IP cameras or home routers. These attacks have been very consistent and Mirai have been an attack radar every quarter. So let's log into our 40 tester load generator appliance that will generate DDoS traffic towards 40 DDoS. It is directly cabled connection to the 40 tester and 40 DDoS to simulate traffic. So let's navigate to the 40 tester and navigate to the mixed traffic. As you can see here, we have a mixed traffic single test case. Uh, we're using the mixed traffic on the top, but just give you an overview of what it looks like. That use test case has been scheduled to run for 30 minutes and it's currently running. And from here, what we can do is we can go and see the results, how it's going. And as you can see, it is running at the moment. Uh, we have success, we have users, we have some failures as well. So this is a mix of good and bad traffic. So from here, we go into the status and see what's going on to our 40 tester. And within the 40 tester, we have a generated 
uh, traffic, which is again, I mentioned it's a good and bad uh, traffic, which is layer seven, layer four, layer three, and layer two traffic. And as you can see, there are some uh, uh, TCP counts that you can see from here. And so what we need to do now is log into our 40 DDoS box to see if we see the simulated uh, traffic. Uh, so SPP, which is Service Pol uh, Protection Policy, is a configuration of the protection policies that you need. In this case, we're using the DMC. As you can see here, I have created them an inbound outbound as detection. And the protection profile policy, you can define it depending on what protocols you want to use based on these samples below. So from here, we go to our dashboard to see the SPP status. And I'm using DMC as a uh, SPP configuration. And as you can see, you have different types of attack traffic here. We have SYN floods, we have ICMP floods, uh, protocol floods here. And then we also have attack destinations uh, to DMC to the inbound traffic. And then we have a lot of DNS server attacks. So now let's go in depth uh, specific to the attack SVP. So you can see here, there's a lot of DNS R code flood, ICMP flood, SYNAC flood information, and it tells you the drop count. What we can also do is we can go towards the log uh, access, uh, click on the DDoS log attack, and we can go into rate flood events. And from here, we have different types of event types, but I can dig into the details, event ID, the protocol, which six is, which is TCP, and you can unclick this and go into, I didn't create any ACL events, but I created Heather anomaly events. So these are anomaly uh, events uh, and you can dig in and uh, get the details, you know, associated port, which is 443 HTTPS. Uh, and also we have state anomaly events, which uh, can be classified as you can see here just CNAC and a lot of volumetric attacks that I've generated in this test, uh, as you can see in the results uh, from the 40D DOS. So the next thing is that we need to go to the details and the status of the uh, platform in general, uh, the attack logs, as you can see here, a lot of volumetric attacks. This is the interface uh, throughput information and as you scroll down, these are the traffic generated from the SPPs, which is DMC. And then we have the drop reports. Uh, you can see here that based on the floods and anomalies, we have the rates here. As you navigate or scroll your cursor, you will get some of the flood and uh, flood counts information, as you can see. I hope this video is very helpful in understanding for the 40 DDoS attack events. Thank you for watching.